Hey everyone, I uh, <clears throat> thought I'd just do a quick video on connecting ProPresenter to Jans Vista using the communications module. Um, uh, I tried looking online, you can see a little bit of our set here where we're projecting on the three triangles in the middle. It's just core plast being fed by a center projector. Um, you know, I looked around online to, when I first started doing this just to see if I could get some help. and. Uh, uh, as much as I love Renewed Vision and Jans, uh, they neither of them have any um, tutorials or really any information at all on how to do that. They just kind of say you can do it and, and that's it. And uh, uh, with a little bit of configuring, I, I kind of figured out how to do it. I did find a good video, um, but it was probably about six years old. Um, uh, running I think Pro 4 and the way the guy had to use uh, was use um, NTEC USB uh, node uh, to get DMX to USB and then he was feeding it through Pro Video Player so all that being said uh, so basically what I'm doing here is I've got just a MacBook Air um, with a, a slew of backgrounds can uh, we some we've made some we've purchased uh, I just have a folder here of stuff that I like, and then I've got my uh, weekend playlist up top here that is all the backgrounds that I'm using for the weekend. And to keep things simple for myself, um, I've got a uh, just a, a service slide playlist uh, that I just use every week, and then I just change out the slides that I'm doing. There's really no reason. For me, there wasn't a reason to build new uh, playlists every week. That just kind of was one more uh, way to complicate things. Um, so the first thing you'll need to do is go to Renewed Vision. Um, and under uh, Support, I believe it is, or Downloads, um, uh, you need to buy the Communications Module and um, license that for whatever machine you're on. So if I go into ProPresenter, the preferences, um, I go over to my modules here. Um, you can see I've got uh, my communications module uh, tied in, and what that's going to do is that allows you to talk to DMX via ArtNet. Um, so you'll need that. It doesn't work without it. And in fact, when they went to, I believe when they went to Pro 5, they did away with DMX over USB altogether, which I didn't know, which of course, you know, because nobody has any information. Um, the first thing I did was I went out and I bought an NTEC USB to DMX, ended up finding out after I called Renewed Vision why it isn't working, and I'm saying, oh, yeah, yeah, we don't, we don't really do that anymore. So I returned that, but it's all right because it makes it way easier. It's one less device that you actually need. Um, so I've got the communications module set up. Um, and then over here, you get your communications tab, and this is where you can add a device. We'll come back to that. Um, so within ProPresenter, or excuse me, within um, Jans Vista here, uh, this is kind of our um, library that we're using. Um, I've got right now, I've just got um, Pro 6 um, uh, down here on a fixture profile. So if I select that, um, apologize for the camera shake, you can see uh, you have to go over your custom menu to, to get to the different, um, uh, the custom palette menu to get to the different parameters that you can adjust. Uh, so you can see there's a few different options here of what happens. Um, and then there, there are also different things that happen under beam. So I'm actually using transition time. Uh, I've got all my transitions. Most of them I'm setting to a real slow fade. Um, so that's what's happening here. My third transition is a fade and then the, the, um, the value of 30 is how long it's actually going to take. Um, uh, some of the stuff I do just a hard cut, but you know, you do you. Uh, down here in miscellaneous, you've got a couple more options. The, really, the only thing I use in here is my control uh, under the, uh, the 12th DMX channel. Um, and what I'm doing there is that's where your clear all um, ha actions are happening. So I've got my any time that I want my screens to go to black, which is pretty much at the end of most songs or if there's um, a church family prayer or you know beginning a communion where maybe I don't want something up, I'm gonna I'm gonna send that tell that to go uh, to clear my cues out, and I'll show you how that happens in just a minute. Um, so first things first, at the console you're gonna go in your patch, um, just do search, and let's just do renewed vision. 
All right, so over here you can see they've got all of the uh, versions that they carry. I'm using Pro 6, um, and Pro 6, a change as well was, I think Pro 5 only had six DMX channels, where now Pro 6 actually has 12. So there's a little bit more going on there. So then from there, it's just picking what universe you want it to come in, and then your starting address, which is just like anything else, pretty important. Just click Patch, and you can see I've got mine right here on DMX 21 coming in on uh, Universe 4. So I've got my um, I've got my um, Fisher profile patched and I've got it in the computer uh, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my computer um, and what you'll do first is you're gonna click add device and click DMX and then you're gonna see this window here pop up it's gonna so you can actually have a couple of these going on if you've got a few different machines running so you could really do some awesome stuff uh, completely being controlled from your Jans console. Um, f with our set, uh, I'm, this was the first time I ever did it, so I'm keeping it simple. I've just got one projector controlling. So once you have that set, you're going to go into DMX setup and just tell it what's your starting address. Um, once you have that set, click OK. Uh, this is where I was getting tripped up. Um, uh, before you get it connected, I guess, I know I'm kind of jumping all over, I apologize for that. Um, uh, you need to get uh, Artnet running to your machine. So right now I've actually got a couple different um, DMX nodes at the stage, uh, a couple of Alation nodes. So I'm using the primary Artnet port on my console already. Um, so we just have a, uh, um, a little Netgear switch. Um, See, can't really see it that much, but it doesn't really matter. It's just a little switch that we're using to to manage everything. So we're coming. Uh, we've got our console going into the switch, and then we've got all of our nodes from stage coming back to this switch here. And then um, what I've got here is the MacBook Air doesn't have uh, Ethernet on it, um, so I just have a USB to a Cat5 adapter. I just have this running out and around trying to keep it clean, and then it's going into my uh, third port here. Um, something to note is uh, if you're using uh, Mac products, um, you're going to want to go into your uh, network preferences. You're going to want to go into Ethernet and you want to set this to manual. And make sure your IP address is set in the range of your console and your switches or uh, your uh, DMX nodes. Um, that was the weirdest thing for me to get used to was thinking like an IT guy, not a lighting guy. Uh, when I started doing all this, when I started introducing LED tape. Um, so just make sure your um, IP address is in the same range and then set it to manual instead of, you know, typically it's going to set to uh, automatically using DHCP. You don't want your IP address to cycle. So just set that to manual just to make sure it's locked. And then you want to make sure you've got a, a good connection um, with whatever you're connecting to, whether it's to the uh, switch or if you're just running it into your console uh, to feed whatever projector you're doing. Uh, from there, uh, we're just about there. You're going to go into your gear here. Um, this is all, I have this all set default uh, except for my universe. Um, and uh, I just, yeah, I kept all the original naming, kept all that. I set my universe. Um, so here's where, here's what really tripped me out. Uh, I'm sure most of you are probably smarter than me and can give me an answer. I don't know why uh, um, why it communicates like this. Uh, so forgive me for that. But when you go into patch, um, you're going to have to uh, connect a uh, universe. Um, so I added uh, Artnet universe. Um, and right here, I'm actually coming in on um, uh, I'm coming in on universe nine. Uh, let me make sure I'm telling you right. Excuse me. I'm coming in on universe four, um, but in my port info, I've got it set to universe nine. This universe, uh, your universe number under your port is what this is going to look at. Um, so when I first had it set up, I just had my DMX universe uh, um, set to the same, and I couldn't get it to talk. I was going back and forth, and I just um, 
Uh, I can't even remember how. I, I, I somehow got something to flash by mistake, so I knew things were talking. They just weren't talking right. So um, so you can set it up to whatever DMX universe. Uh, that doesn't really matter because you're not using DMX. I'm not, nothing that's happening here is DMX. Um, but you want to make sure under your port information you have whatever um, port universe set correctly. Um, so I've got that set up as 9 on my console, and then under my universe here I've got that set to 9. Um, once that's good, you click Save, then Connect, and you should see a green light. Uh, so let me X out of this. Um, so let me see if I can do a couple of things here. So there's really, uh, I'm using this in its most basic form. Um, uh, you've got under your Gobo menu again, let me just get into my live here. Under your Gobo menu, um, you've got your media file, uh, which from what I understand is your, um, uh, your default zero is your playlist. So if you had multiple playlists, you would just, you know, if you had two or three playlists for the weekend, you would just change this to go to whatever playlist you want if you wanted to use a different playlist for a different service type. Again, for me, we actually have a traditional service at 8.30 and then a contemporary service at 10.30. I just put all the slides back to back just to keep things simple. Um, and then from there, your, your slide here starting at 1 is going to line up with um, whatever your slides are within your uh, within your playlist so right now um, so you can see I'm on slide 10 here if I come over here and change this to slide 6 I'm gonna come back here and now this changed it to 6 you can see it changed there so it's, it's really simple so as I'm going through and I'm making my cues I'm just grabbing my um, uh, fixture profile for ProPresenter, coming over to my custom palette, and then I'm just increasing this as I add a new slide for every song. If you want multiple slides in a song, you know, you get to that bridge where, you know, there's a big punch moment or whatever, uh, change the slide there, just change it. Um, really simple. So let me get back to the last thing, and then that should give you everything you need. So back into um, uh, miscellaneous. Um, you've got some, uh, you've got some options here for uh, um, for your clear actions. So really, all I'm using is a clear action or a clear all slide. So um, just through scrolling through these one at a time, I found that if I uh, do number three, do number three, and enter, that's my clear all. And you could see it kind of fades that's because um, I've set to a transition here. So if I had both of these set to zero, it's gonna set to the default, which on ProPresenter, I've got the default set to cut. Um, so that's just you know personal preference, however you want that to happen. And that changes for me from song to song, and even within a song, um, what's gonna happen there. And what I did to make things easy for myself is I set up um, a clear slide that, um, the clear side is just I grabbed my fixture profile and I set this to three and then I save that in my preset and then I have a slide default which what that does is that sets this back to zero so as soon as I get past the next slide um, or as soon as I get past the lighting cue that has the the slides go blank I'm gonna set that back to default because I want you know as I send new slide information I'm gonna want that to come back up um, so that should be it. Uh, feel free to leave comments below. Again, I'm, I'm using everything on the most current update. Um, we've got a Jans Vista L5 console. I'm just using a simple little MacBook Air um, running Pro 6, newest version of everything. It's all Cat5 via Artnet. Um, again, feel free to comment below if you have any questions. I'll try to watch for those and answer if you can. I hope this helps. Again, I looked all over when I started because I was definitely over my head. And uh, there, wasn't, uh, there wasn't a thing out there that I could find, so hopefully this helps you.